The intention of this video is to show you how to plot something in AutoCAD Land Desktop. <clears throat> so well, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to draw in some lines that we might actually want to plot. Um, and it's nothing special in this case. I'm just drawing a blob. Um, there are several different ways to plot. I'm going to show you one specific way to plot right now. I'm going to call this plotting from model space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out what scale I need to do this drawing at. So the first thing I'm going to do is measure the overall distance of this drawing at 75 um, feet in this case are the units I'm using. So 75 feet divided by the distance that I want to have on my paper. So if I want to put this on an eight and a half by 11, I can calculate that. So if I have 75 feet across on my eight and a half by 11, and I, I divide 75 by 8.5 and I get 8.82. So I'm gonna round this up to 10 because I'm gonna have a one to 10 scale drawing. So now I'm gonna create a box at one to 10 dimensions. So I'm gonna use the rectangular command here I'm going to click in the upper corner so I can create a border. I'm going to use the D for dimensions command. And then I'm going to specify the length of the rectangle. In this particular case, it's the width as you're looking at it. So 8.5 times 10 is 85. And then I'm going to do the width. Um, 11 times 10 <coughs> is 110. So now I have the dimensions of my drawing and I'm gonna move the rectangular slightly. Now, this is the area that I'm going to actually be plotting. So now I can go to plot, P-L-O-T, or you can go file plot. For right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plot everything to a PDF. So there's a specific plotter that comes standard with AutoCAD called DWG to PDF. I'm gonna click on that for right now. Then it's gonna tell me, it's gonna ask me what size paper do I wanna use. An arch expand D is too large for what I'm doing. That's a 20, or 24 by 36 page. So I'm going to go down and find the correct paper size as an ANSI A 8.5 by 11. I'm going to click on that. So then what I'm going to do in this particular case is I'm going to use a window. I'm going to plot a specific window. So I'm going to click on this, and then I'm going to select the upper left corner of my border. I'm going to select the bottom right corner of my border. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to center this plot. Now the one thing that we need to do is we need to set the scale. I specifically set this up for a one to 10 foot scale. So when I do that, you'll notice that of this, this small preview here shows me that it's at the correct size. So now I'm gonna preview this and it says the annotation scale is not equal to the plot scale. Do you wanna continue? At this point we do. I'll explain annotation scale versus plot scale later. Um, you notice that it's at set up for landscape. So we wanna escape out of that and set it for portrait. And then we look at the preview, and now it looks exactly the way I want it to look. So I can either right click and hit plot, or I can go back, as hit escape and go back to the screen, and then hit plot okay here. That concludes the video on how to plot from model space.